talking about? Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Oh. We couldn't talk about the state of creativity today without obviously mentioning AI. It's one of the hottest topics. Um, and I think our point of view on where the space is headed and just where it is right now as well, it just saves time. And I think that's a really, really, really good thing for marketers. Because if you think about our day-to-day -day process, it's so much easier to pull data from multiple sources together into one kind of single source of truth so that you can actually spend your time uncovering those customer insights that you probably would have missed if you had to spend all your time pulling that data together manually. And so I personally really love that AI can give marketers some time back and allows them to become more customer focused. Uh, I think the caveat to that is the thing that AI can't do as well as you can is truly understand your business and your uh, product or service and your customer. Um, they're just never gonna be in the shoes of why your brand exists, right? So you may have seen recently, for example, that Google uh, is building a tool that is fundamentally going to use AI to build ads. And so what you'll need to do is input different images, different videos, different pieces of text, and the AI will spit out ads um, based on your campaign goal. Uh, so if you know, you're trying to re drive return on ad spend, they're gonna create ads and serve those to a target audience that they think uh, will achieve those goals. And while that might simplify some of the creative production, you still need to really, as I mentioned, understand your brand, your customer motivations, and have a strategy behind those inputs. What messages are you using? What visuals, what talent? All of those are important creative inputs that still need a strategy behind them. And so we like to think about it in this way. Imagine kind of almost any product that you use today, a machine likely makes that and it likely makes it much more efficient and affordably than if someone were making that by hand. But you still need somebody, an inventor, to come up with that idea with that product. And we think about AI in a kind of a similar nature, right? It's going to speed up some things, but you still need human context, human knowledge in order to really make it work for you. So lots of changing, obviously, in the space, and, and we'll keep a close eye on it. But I still think you need a, a good human brain to, to help make your brand um, really connect with a, a, a consumer and understand kind of what your product and service is all about.